I declare this is your year. I declare this is your time. The devil's trying to mess it all up, but I declare this is my year. And I declare this is my time. Oh, see, it's not over yet. See, we're only halfway through the year. I'm telling you, you've got a few more months, and you're going to see everything turn around in your life. You see, when the people of God pray in faith, God begins to dispatch his angels, and he pushes back the hand of the enemy. Are you listening to me? Even when it looks like nothing is happening, you can't go by what you see today. Begin to speak to your dreams. See, you're trying to, to speak to your dreams logically. You're trying to get your ducks in a row so this can take place in your life. Forget about it. I'm saying put God first in your life. Begin to speak to your dreams. It's God that has to work it out in the long run. You don't have to work it out. It's God that has to work it out. You know the story about Daniel. He needed an answer to prayer. And he fasted and prayed for 21 days. And after seven days, nothing happened. After 14 days, nothing changed. After 20 days, nothing else had moved. But on day number 21, the angels of God pushed through the line of defense of the enemy. And on day 21, the angel of God showed up. I'm trying to tell you that help has been dispatched from heaven. And I'm trying to tell you that help is on the way. Would you touch three people and tell them, my help is coming. My help is coming. You see, we are told to pray at all times and not lose heart. In other words, God knew that we were going to get discouraged in our praying. That's why he said, don't let that discouragement keep you from putting me first and don't let it keep you from praying. Everybody say, my help is already here. You see, the Lord wants us to grow to the point that we go to him every day and we believe for him to meet all of our needs according to his riches and glory by Christ Jesus. He wants us to learn to pray and believe that no matter what it looks like right now, that help is on the way. He's bigger than anything that you're going through. See, if you need a miracle in your life, you got to know that the enemy is going to challenge your right to that miracle. If you need a miracle in your life, your enemy is going to challenge that right to a miracle. He will send people to come against you. He will cause people to lie on you. He will cause everything around you to get all disturbed and turned upside down. He'll try to get you off in bitterness and unforgiveness and resentment. But you see, if you let it go, God has a way of working it out. 